Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Let's take a look at how to create a master page which is going to be adaptive to any browser window size uh, without having had to create any breakpoint. So to get started, I'm going to go to my site manager and I'm going to hit on the new page over here. I'm going to change this page name from page one to master page. Now make sure I am on the master page and to get started, I'm going to go to the toolbox. I'm going to look for the layer two. So I click on the layer, draw on an empty space in the canvas. Let me move this to this particular position. I'm going to change the size of this layer. I'm going to make this 970 by 60 pixels. So that is it for that particular layer. And I'm going to change the background color. I'll go to styles and that background. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow under color. Then I'm going to change this to something. Um, I'm going to select this color. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now we have our color changed over here. Now I'm going to change the mode of this particular layer from default to the docking layer. And I'm going to change the mode from that is uh, center horizontally to top. So this, I want this particular layer to be stick at the top. I'm going to change the alignment to center and I'm going to hit on OK. Now I'm going to make a copy of this layer. So I'll select copy. I'm going to paste that in here. I'll move that, uh, the copied layer to the bottom. Let me just keep it here. I'm going to double click on this and change the color of it to uh, something um, looking like gray, uh, gray. I'm going to come back to general. I'm going to change this from dog to top to dog to bottom. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'll go ahead and make a copy of the layer again. So make a copy. I'm going to move this in here. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to change it from dog to top to that is dog left. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. And I'm going to change the size of this particular layer to that is um let me just expand the height of it a little bit to hit this one i'm going to change this one uh, the color of this to white so i'll make the color white i'll go ahead and uh, let me just change the width of it so the width is going to be 50 pixels now make a copy of this i'll just paste that in here i'll move that to the right hand side i'm going to change this one from dock um, left to dock right before I continue, let me just go to my view, come to my guide settings and just check show ID and um, sh uh, this one so I can uh, see the edge of my bodies. But what I'm working on, let me just come back here and um, check one more thing. Show table. Let me just, um, okay, I think I, I, it's okay like this. Let me just go ahead and hit on OK. Now to continue with what I'm doing, now, I'll come back to my toolbox. Okay, let me just... Um, come back to my toolbox. I'm going to get a font awesome. So that is um, font awesome. Let me just get to my toolbox. Select the font awesome. I'm going to use this particular icon. I'm going to change the size of it a little bit. And I'm going to copy one of these layers. I'll just copy it and I'll paste that in here. I'll double click on this. I'll come to styles and I'll change the mode from um, solid to transparent. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. And I'm going to change the size of this particular layer in here so let me just change the size i want to see the edge of, edges of my uh, let me just aha uh -huh. i have it here object outline that's it now let me move this particular icon into this layer i have in here let me change the size of this particular um layer let me just make it um 70 by 60 um 70 by 50 so 70 by 50 pixels and then i'll move this a little bit to the middle of it I'm going to change the mode from dark mode to sticky and I'm going to make this top left. So this is going to be the mode for this particular layer. I'm going to change the delay to zero and then the offset, I'm going to make this um, 50 pixels. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. So I'll move this particular layer into this layer I have in here. I'll make a copy of this layer. I'm going to paste that in here. I'll get rid of this icon. I'm going to expand this a little bit. I'll come to my toolbox. I'm going to look for the CSS menu. So I'll draw here and move the CSS menu into this particular layer. Let me just move this here. Reduce the size of it a little bit. I'll go ahead and double click on it. And then I'm going to change this from top left to top right. I'll maintain the offset X. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'm going to move this into this. Now I'll come back here. I'll go to my two box i'll look for the text to i'll draw in here i'll double click on this and i'm just going to change this to uh let me just 
make this um, just uh, 10 weights and then let me just take off some of the wedding I'll align this to the center I'll go ahead and move this into the middle here I'll make a copy of this font also plus the layer I have in here copy it I'll paste it over here I'm going to change this to that is a Facebook that is icon I'll go ahead and uh, I'll move that into this footer section I'm going to change the mode from that is it's still going to be sticky but this time around it's going to be bottom right I'll go ahead and uh, keep this in here let me expand this a little bit so that I can keep two more um, icons in it. So I'm going to change the size of this to 25 by 25. Now copy this. I'll paste this in here. I'm going to change this to Twitter. So this is going to be Twitter. Let me just scroll down a little bit to get my Twitter icon in here. I'll go ahead and hit, hit on OK. I'll paste it one more time and I'm going to change this to Instagram. So this is going to be Instagram. So that is it. I'll go ahead and then I'll change the color. That is a color of the icon from the deep blue I have in here to white. I'm going to change this one to also white. I'll go ahead and hit on OK and do it for the Facebook icon as well. So I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to move this a little bit closer to this. I'm going to align it to be um, of the same, um, that is the same height. And then let me just go to arrange, make this middle. I'll set that is a distributively, um, I'll distributively between um, that is the spaces I have in over here. So I'm going to set this horizontally to give me core spacing in between them. I'll make sure I move them to the middle of the um, layer, small layer I have in here. Now I'm going to make a copy of this layer. I'm just going to paste that in here. I'm going to get rid of the icons. I'll move that in here. I'll expand it a little bit. Copy these tests, paste it here reduce the first of all change alignment to left and reduce the size of it i'm going to move this into this particular layer now i'm going to double click on this and i'm going to change this from bottom right to bottom left i'll go ahead and hit on ok now i'll come to my index page i'll come to my toolbox i'll look for the layer so let me just um, look for a layer from the toolbox i'll draw here let me expand this a little bit and I'm going to change the color of this to something much more visible. So I'm just going to make this red. I'll go ahead and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, populate this with some text. So I'll come here, select the text to, I'll move this a little bit to this particular position. Let me expand this a little bit more and populate this with about 10 paragraphs. So I'll come here and select 10 paragraphs. And then I make sure I have this centered here. And I'm going to right click on an empty space, go to page property and set to the page that is alignment to center horizontally. I'm going to change this to relative horizontal sizing. I'll set the alignment to center. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now right click on an empty space, go to page properties, come to miscellaneous and select my master page to be my master frame. I'll go ahead and hit on OK and hit on F5. It looks like um, there's some same ID in here in the uh, project. Uh, to correct that, we have to change the names of the objects we have in here. So I'm just going to make this um, red layer. This is going to be more test. Before I continue, I messed up something from the master page. So I'll come back to my master page. I'll go to the two box and I'm going to look for the content placeholder. So I'll select my content placeholder. I'm going to move it to this particular position and expand it to fit in here. Now I'll move this to the back, I'll right click on it, select move to back, come back to my index page, I'll hit on F5 and everything should be okay. So as you can see, we have our layers in here, it looks like this has taken over, so we can just um, change the position of these things. So let's just come back to our application, let's go to the master page, right click on an empty space, bring this to front, right click on an empty space, bring this to front. Um, let me just change the color of this from the, uh, the white smoke I have in here just to white. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let's go ahead and preview this page again. So I'll go ahead and hit on F5 and as you can see we have our page in here. Now when I go to the browser developer tools and I go to responsive design mode as you can see we have our layer. Let me just come here. You realize our, our master page becomes adaptive if we keep resizing that is our browser width. It stays adaptive. So if you 
mind creating a big point a big point for only the 320 pixels because this particular navigation doesn't look good there you can go ahead and create it so this is how to go about creating this particular master page using it in your project thank you very much for watching bye for now